Figure it out. It's on right now. It's going. Okay, we have Gino tinting the windshield on a 2019 Lamborghini. Here's the insignia right here. Look at that, huh? We're blessed, we're blessed with having an indoor workspace today because it's about to rain. That's right. In Deerfield Beach, Florida. This is the second day he's ever tinted windows. No, I'm just kidding. How many years you got in this business, Ken? Uh, 1980. Uh, you got me beat by three years. <laughs> yeah, but you're three times faster than me. <laughs> so 1983 is when we got ball rolling. Right? We're uh, going to be doing a dry shrink on this windshield. Just cutting the overall pattern. Just so you can heat shrink it and not get any creases on the edges. Just make sure you have a nice sharp blade. So you can scratch the window. It's got to be a stainless steel blade. Absolutely. This window is probably about four or five thousand bucks. Yeah, more than lunch money. 100%. Hey, you can play the drums later, can you? <laughs> <laughs> we're a full service shop. We entertain you too. Uh, so we're a mobile service, but uh, we don't get to work in these types of environments every day. We're usually out in the uh, open elements, the sun, the rain, all that good stuff. The wind, the insects. The dirt, the dust. <laughs> so we're using a 70%. But when you know what you're doing, you can you can get around all those problems. Absolutely. We're using a 70% ceramic on this. It's really light. It does keep out a lot of heat. I think it's 44% heat rejection. Is it, Ken? Yeah, and the, and the uh, UV is 99% re heat rejection. Rejection. Go for lighter and darker uh, windshield tents. But you don't want to go too dark because then you stick out like a sore thumb. Right, plus that's illegal. Absolutely. I'm going to make sure I'm just dragging up against the car and put the wire against my, around my neck. He's the master at this. We're going to keep it clean, though. I would have said something else, but, you know. Hey, Kenny, I've been working together for the last... What, 1980, 1987? So he worked for me, I worked for him, back and forth a couple times. Yeah, how about that, huh? Well, whoever, if you would have told me that in 1987, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> in my condition, I wasn't back then. Oh, my God. You got some stories to go with that. Yeah. This windshield is probably one of the biggest windshields out on the market. Is it? The angle plus the width, it's close to probably seven feet wide. Is it? Wow, you know, it doesn't appear to be like that. And it's pretty high too, huh? The width, the width? Yeah, it's gonna take every bit of two people to put it in. All right, so that's why I'm here. So that we don't crease it, we don't have any problems with uh, handling it. And all that good stuff. The thing is, you want to make sure. And you got plenty of light in here, too. This is a nice place to work. You get all these bubbles out, and you do it. And usually, what I do is shrink it twice. Just to make sure. So it doesn't have a, what does it have for a back glass? The back glass does not go up when the top is down, so I instructed the, uh, the owner that we're not going to be able to do it, so he was cool with it. The back glass doesn't go up when the top is down. What about when the top is up? But then you can't get a nice shape on it. You can't get it, huh? These cars, there are certain cars that back windows don't go up at all when the tops are down, so they're hard to shape up. 
I never, I never saw. I, don't, I never noticed what it looks like at the top. Uh, up, to tell you the truth. After all these years, we're still using a good old twenty-nine dollar Wagner heat gun. It's <laughs> the best. I don't care how much you spend on a heat gun, you know. The cheap one's the best. Absolutely. So going into Italy in September, hopefully I'll be able to test drive maybe a Ferrari to have the factories there. And, uh, nice. That 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 or that's Valentine's in No, no, Valentino's. I think he sold that. Oh, wow. Yeah. But uh, his pizza is excellent. You know, he uses, he uses the right ingredients. He knows what he's doing. Okay. It's all about the water and the flour, right? Yep. And the cheese. I mean, you know, it's got to be the good, the good cheese, you know? The whole, the whole recipe. You got to know how to knead the dough. The dough has to be prepared properly. Just like window tint, you gotta do it right the first time. Because my brother said to me, if you know, if you're not good, if you're not good, if you know, if you're not too good at picking things up on the first try, skydiving not, might not be for you. <laughs> That's something you want to learn while you're up here. Right? Yeah, you can't learn by trial and error, you know. <laughs> you don't bounce too well. Corners are always a little trickier. There's a pattern to the film, so you can't shrink it this way. It has to right. be shrunk up and down. You're ruining it if you shrink it in the wrong direction. Yeah. I think it's ready to fall up. We're going to cut the outline in a second. How much room? How much room you got on the inside? It's pretty tight. Yeah. Lamborghini don't play around. Everything is on the button. Everything's tight. Huh? Cut it right on the dot. Make sure you have a sharp tip again. Let it come. You freehand this. Try to get as close to the edge of the dot as possible. Right, catching a reflection, right? Yeah, you gotta make sure this has to be cut right on. Don't make it corto. Corto pito. Come over here, open the door, get up on the top. Did I tell you I bought an espresso machine? You did? Buy an espresso. $174, man. That's when you live in the highway. Yeah, right. I gotta be crazy. I let Nora, Nora serve me a few cups from that machine. Mm -hmm. I was hooked. Oh, she has the same machine? Yeah. Nice. She has a more expensive one than I got. And the, the coffee's not acidic at all, you know? There's a special coffee you gotta use with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, just little, these little, it's almost like the, um, I forget the Keurig. Keurig. Oh, it has these little capsules you put in there. Nice. Anyway. So I took the so, liberty of. Cutting and putting these in already. I've been in this center a few times, Tenton Cause. I'm sure you too, huh? Keep the area clean. I used to, you know, you know what I used to do? I always had a garbage can with me. The tall kitchen garbage can. I got one. I got used to doing it like that. Everybody has their own style. I didn't like picking the film up twice.
Gino has the plotter to cut this on the machine, but sometimes it's easier just to do it on the car by hand. And not every car is, is listed on those plotters sometimes, the programs. Oh, maybe an exotic car like this might not even be on there, brand new, yeah. brand new model, right? So we're going to clean the window now and get it ready for installation. Um, so we're going to cut out for a minute and get back on as soon as we get ready to squeegee. Okay, we'll see you again soon.